In this video I'm going to show with you how I make low-key photography in a small home studio. So you can easily use the same techniques for your photos. I will also show you my lighting setups, my camera settings, uh, how I edit the photos. So let's jump into the video. Hello, my name is Alexandra Grois. In this channel I talk about photography tips, lighting techniques and photo editing. And all the links to everything I mention in this video you can find in the description box below. So, what are low-key photography? When I think of photography in low-key, I imagine dark shadows, high contrast, dramatic portraits and, of course, dark tones photography. In low-key there is no need to afraid of the shadows because you can uh, make them like a main element of the composition. What equipment should be used to get photography in a low-key? You don't need super expensive equipment to get low-key photography. Just use window light with dark curtains, it's enough. You can make such a strip of light and shoot portraits with the available natural light. Also, you can use speed lights. This photo was taken in a home studio. I use Nikon speed light with a DIY barn door snoot. Why I made the snoot? Because I want to direct my light to the, to the model face, only to my model's face. So that is why I made this uh, DIY snoot. I positioned my light just above model's head, uh, tilting slightly uh, to make some kind of uh, butterfly light. Before we look at my backstage, make sure you watch this video till the end, because I will share with you how I convert my photos to black and white. Let's take a look of uh, my Loki portrait and see how I capture it. Alright, my key light. It was studio strobe light with snoot and grid on it. Why I did snoot studio flash? Because I needed a light to fall only this part of the strip that I cut out in the paper. Why did I put snoot uh, to studio flash? Because I needed the light to fall only this part of the um, strip that I cut in the paper. I would need to direct the light uh, in this di direction. So I cut out a rectangle with a sheet of a white paper, which is actually a white paper background. And um, you know, it will be better to use black <laughs> foam cardboard because it does not let light uh, go through it. As you can see, on the shady side of the face, there is little information in the shadows. It happens because I used white paper. Uh, through that paper light uh, passes. I brought this paper close to model face, so the second rim light was at the back, also reflected a little heat from the face uh, that white paper. The second was a rim light, as I said below. I used Godox flashlight with softbox. I hooked a piece of white paper onto the softbox. I wanted to diffuse light even more. On the set it seems to me that this light was too bright and I just soften it uh, with a piece of white paper. In my whole studio I use strobes of the company Godox. I bought a set on Amazon. I think it's great light kit uh, for studying photography and uh, it's an expensive and uh, pretty good equipment for starting out. In a drama effect I always use reflector with a grid or barren doors or small soft box. Also I often use a gobo mask. 
By the way, if you haven't seen my videos about goal photography, uh, go to that link. I like to create the shadows on the face with gobo. I just put any object in front of my main light source and uh, there is magic. As you can see, Loki photography is very inspired. It is dramatic and for me it of the most interest. That is probably why there is a lot of such uh, photos in my portfolio. Try and I think you will like it. Tell me in the comments uh, what are you thinking about uh, dramatic photography? Thanks for watching until now, because I promised to you uh, to show how I convert image to the black and white. So, let's jump into my computer. I create an adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer button and then choosing a gradient map. There I choose black and white preset. And again, I create a new adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer button and then choosing curves. I want to add a color, a little bit of color on each channel. Um, and I go to the blue channel, up a little curves, uh, then on the green up a little. And I increase a little opacity. I want uh, to tint my black and white photo with um, some blue and uh, green color. After that I create a new adjustment layer um, by clicking on adjustment layer button. It's curves layer again and on the drop down list I choose preset uh, medium contrast. I create a new uh, adjustment layers of uh, levels and then I check my black and white points. Um, on the blacks I choose in details but I don't care because it's low photography and on the white it's okay. So that's the before and the after. The second image I create an adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer button and then choosing curves. I choose the color mud uh, to luminosity because I want um, to work only with lightness and then I click on the drop down list and choose red channel and make a contrast on it. After that I choose a blue channel and after that I choose green channel. So I make uh, a contrast on each channel separately. After that I create an adjustment layer um, black and white. So I drop left and right each color on my taste. After that I create new adjustment layer gradient map choose gradient from black to white and reduce my opacity. Then I create new adjustment uh, layers uh, by curves and uh, select on the drop down list medium contrast and again reduce opacity. After that I flatten image and go to the camera row filter. Then on the presets I choose green and medium green and again reduce my opacity. Alright guys, let me know what you think about um, how I convert image to the black and white in the comments below. And the next episode will be about uh, colored shadows photography. If you want uh, to not miss it, so subscribe to my channel. Video. If you know someone who are interested in photography, please share with the video. Uh, it will be help me a lot <laughs> in my small channel. So I really hope this helps. And thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And see you next.